I'm Sarah Lane Eaton. I'm an elected member to the Cope Council, and I also uh, am an associate professor at the University of Calgary, where my research program focuses on ethics and integrity in higher education. I'm currently leading a research project there on the ethical application of artificial intelligence tools for teaching, learning, and assessment. Maria, I'll hand it over to you for an introduction. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Marie Soulier, and I'm Senior Publishing Manager with the Open Access Publisher Frontiers where I've been for 10 years uh, in various roles, focusing in particular on peer review quality and research integrity, and also on our unique technology platform with the evolving use of automation and artificial intelligence for publishing. Before that, I was a researcher for eight years in the fields of biochemistry and bioinformatics. So today, the topic we wanna address is really about artificial intelligence and fake papers. As some of you might know, we regularly organize such discussions on uh, timely topics of interest in publishing ethics. And we usually then use the information um, gathered from these exchanges to write up discussion documents that are akin to guidance uh, that we then provide to our members. So this is one of the aims today in the exchanges that we're gonna have. Um, so, before we get into the thick of the discussion, we prepared a short introduction on AI um, and on the COPE guidelines around it, just to get you a bit situated in the general context ahead of debating the ethical questions around it. First things first, obviously, what is artificial intelligence? Um, really, it's a, it's a really broad term that encompasses all sorts of computer systems, algorithms, and technology that exhibit a behavior or perform tasks that can be considered as smart, tasks that would normally require what we call human intelligence. Um, this includes, for example, making decisions, recognizing and translating speech, or different types of visual perception. You probably also have heard of machine learning, um, another big one, and it's, this one is mostly, it's a subset of artificial intelligence and it's uh, algorithms that detect patterns and use them to assess, to predict, and to make decisions as well. And it's actually the discovery by the machine of how to perform certain tasks without being programmed to do so. So it learns on its own from a big pool of data. There's also a natural language processing that will be relevant today um, that are systems that focus on extracting, processing, translating, transforming all of these around human language. Next slide, please. So the, the AI on everyone's lips, the chat GPT, is a generative artificial intelligence. It uses both machine learning and natural language processing. Um, the algorithm was trained on a large data set and it can be used to interpret and create new content and perform tasks on its own. And uh, such generative AIs can also create things like code, images, videos, and presumably full research articles as well. Um, something of note for these discussions about AI, because it will be relevant when we start discussing a bit more, it's really important to separate what we call robotic process automation, RPA. So these are more simple automated processes that do uncomplicated and repetitive tasks. And I guess a typical example in publishing would be sending template emails to several users with the same text. So this is not AI, this is really just automation and this is not really part of the discussion for today. Next slide, please. So in the last couple of years, um, most AI related publishing uh, discussions were related to the use of AI and automation as well in the life cycle of manuscripts during um, the peer review process for either quality control, quality assurance, uh, initial submission check, peer review on its own, and both as well. So for example, um, with algorithms that can assess the language quality, image manipulation, data manipulation, scope of a paper, its relevance to the journal, finding reviewers, um, and even the methods. So recent development um, in AIs uh, have focused towards you know, the use of AI for the creation of manuscripts from writing of the text um, to actually creating the figures and images to even falsifying data and creating uh, full data analysis. So now we see the use of these tools um, with potentially malicious intent uh, by companies wishing to profit 
by producing and selling fraudulent manuscripts that resemble genuine research. Um, we refer to this in the publishing world as paper mills. Next slide, please. As a member of COPE, I was involved in the preparation of uh, another guidance document uh, two years ago. Uh, it talks specifically about the ethical use of AI in decision-making and publishing. It tackles the subject of using automations to assist with various processes versus the use of AI to make decisions on manuscripts during uh, peer review. So at the time, the recommendation from this document was that we were not in a position collectively in the scholarly publishing landscape and industry um, where we would trust AI to make decisions without human oversight, given the issues with accountability, with bias, uh, and the limitations of the technology, really. However, we did think that applying automations in AI was a great tool to help publishers detect issues and fraud and we recommended that journals um, be transparent about where and how they use these tools. For those interested in reading the document, it is freely available on the COPE website. And we have an associated webinar uh, that I hosted on trustworthy AI for publishing. Next slide, please. So Matt introduced this earlier, um, obviously in the last year and more so even since the beginning of this year, the focus has shifted to using AI to write and create manuscripts, um, data, content, images, all of these. And COPE just released this position statement that is listed in full here for reference. Um, but the short version, as Matt outlined, is that at this point, the committee would argue that an AI cannot be held accountable or take responsibility for the writing of a paper or the research performed. And therefore, it doesn't meet the criteria for authorship. Um, and the recommendation from COPE is that the use of AI tools can then be made to write articles. That's not a problem, but it should be openly acknowledged in the papers, just not on the author list. There are already um, several articles published that are for or against this position, and it will be one of the interesting points to debate for sure. So I'll 